Because I got a time crunch. Let's go. 1500 it is. Good luck, Yosarian. Good luck, sir. Wolfie and Keto. Yep. Let's try Bishop D3. Haven't done that yet, but my opponents haven't played such a good setup either. H6 is okay, because my knight's going here. Rook lift. Take with the pawn, so we have the F file. Let's bring the queen in. I'm going to take this and um, well they don't mind getting mated they resigned checkmate in one there we go I said I wanted a quick win and uh, my opponent obliged the rook lift is popular in the bird I hope you're uh, paying attention Good luck. Knight c6, okay. Gonna give them the bishop b5 treatment. Let's grab. Bianchetto. Wow. Is that a free pawn? I'm gonna take first and then calculate, but... After a uh, quick calculation, it still looks free to me, Chief. I really need to support it. I can go d4. I like having an open bishop. Time to castle. And what happens if I take here? If you take with your queen, we're trading even material and I'm already up a pawn. If you take this first, I take back with a queen. You can take my bishop, but then I have a big check. Hello to our friend Will Flynn in the chat. That's an even trade, but things aren't even because I'm already up a pawn. Now I'm up two pawns. Can we make it three soon? Now the rooks need to shift back over to the king side because it's endgame time. Endgame time where we just trade into a winning endgame, up a couple of pawns. My next move, probably rook f3. My move after that, rook f1. Double the rooks. This knight ever moves, I'm eating I'm eating on d5. Ah you got some discoveries, hey? I'll let you do it. Because if you give a check, I win your bishop, and you win my knight. Even trades are good for me. I'm going to offer you again that option. I don't mind pushing g4 because it's the end game. And I might go g5 next. I'm not a GM. I traded it for a bag of jalapeno chips. The title was getting diluted. Or as Ricky says, jalapeno chips. Let's move our king up. I don't mind trades because I'm up two pawns. Two pawns. You can't win up two pawns. That's a you problem. And you can solve that problem by joining our group classes. 
so the problem with this trade is I do mind it. Why do I mind this trade after takes takes? It makes my pawn on e3 really weak and it doubles my c pawns. So it, it turns my two pawn advantage like one and a half or one. I'm gonna go 92. I have a clean pawn structure. I want to keep it clean. G4. I'm going to Norway early to celebrate the national holiday. Yes. Dude, this always happens. I just bought sunglasses and I lost them already. How do I lose? So I don't buy nice sunglasses. I Where do they go? I have my snooze. I don't have the sunglasses. I, geez. It's so annoying. It's okay. <clears throat> we have an end game up two pawns. And I just fake that to add dramatic effect. No, I don't know where they are. But what I do know is we're going to go C3. What snooze do I have? Epoch. And I'm going to win a third pawn. And maybe a fourth pawn. Push. Let's grab a fourth pawn. How many more pawns can I get? I'm bulking in healthy, healthy things like pawns. Here comes the king. Push. Oh, we got a, uh, we got some speed. You want to activate my speed? Bye-bye. Jay Gordon, good luck. They're not paid actors. Let's go for a little fianchetto action. My bishop can't go to b5. This is a decent setup for black, so we'll go bishop b2. And now 95. I wanted to go queen e1, but I might hang a pawn if I do so. So I'll go d3 first. And now transfer the queen over to the king side. We're gonna open up the f file. Then play queen g3. That's tricky. How do I defend the pawn on a5? Well, I'm going to try something fun here. I could go d4, but I lose a pawn. I might lose this pawn anyways. But I'm going to... I'm going to try this. I'm just, I'm just, uh, humbly going for checkmate here. Checkmate. It worked out. Midget man. And they have an Amon flare. Go midgets for Amon. F4. Good luck. That is a flare of Amon. I recognize that. And you can use a flare if you have a chess.com premium membership. Okay. 
Okay. You're attacking my knight right away. Let me flip things around on you. Calling, we're not going e3 but let's experiment what happens if we go g4 what happens they have a really good move here let's see if they can find it there's a nice move here this is the risk <laughs> the risky move would have been e6 attacking the pawn and threatening queen h4 checkmate but they didn't see it This is still a good move though. All right, we'll go here. E6 would have been trouble. Now they can, their bishop is safe. We have some space. Let's open things up more because it feels like... Um, we're way ahead in development. I could take with a pawn, inviting a queen trade, but I'm going to take with a knight and sacrifice a pawn. For an attack. That's a pawn you can grab. I'm hoping if they grab it, I have some attacking chances. Check, okay, let's block. You're not gonna trade queens, I'm gonna move my queen out of the way, because I like my uh, attacking chances. There we go. Queen c4 is a check and it attacks the bishop. I like, you see this square? That looks like a very juicy square for this knight. I'm going to knight d4 preparing knight e6. Oh, knight d7. Unfortunately, it's going to be more knights for me. Just take the free stuff. Now our knight gets to the lovely e6 square. The queen is hanging. I guess I'll grab it. We take what is offered. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't want that rook. It was offered, but... I'm going for something else. Can you guess what my move is right now? Let's finish with class. Queen takes pawn. Check. King has to take. And rook f3. There's the checkmate. There we go. Keep it going. Oh. We'll go E3. Get the setup. It 
Bishop d7. So now I'm not going bishop b5. I'll go bishop d3. I have an idea attached to that. Let's go knight e5. This is usually annoying for them to deal with. And now it's rookliff time. I have a flight to catch, so I gotta start winning quickly. I'm under some time pressure. Some zeit knot. Let's lift the rook. Knight g4, I want to open everything up. And you might be inclined to take here and threaten checkmate. And I want to do that, I really do. I want to make this work. Queen takes knight. But they have pawn to e5, hitting my queen and blocking the checkmate. So I'm going to switch the move order up. I'm going to take on g7 first. I have a plan. And now I get to take check. And the king is trying to run over here and avoid checkmate. So, stop the king from running away. Find the move for white here. We have to prevent that king from running away. Well done, Sina FTW. Queen h4 check. King has to go back to where it came from. And then what's next? Queen takes h6. Check. And let's checkmate. GG. A lot of different checkmates there. I just picked one. Big Papi Chula. Good luck. I'm showing some of the fun stuff you can get going with a bird. Hopefully. Fianchetto or Dark Square Bishop. Ah, they're they're preventing us from putting our knight on e5. It's okay. This is an annoying setup for black. They're taking away all my all my fun squares. Let's bring the queen over to the king's side anyways. Yep, I'll bring the queen in. Knight f5 is annoying, but my opponent's playing a good setup. Where should we go? Here, 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 or do we retreat? I'm a little worried about my queen and bishop being on the same diagonal. Eh, okay, I'll retreat. They've stopped our momentum. When the attack doesn't work, we have to improve the attack, and that probably means bringing some more pieces in. So let's get our knight involved. And you know what? Now that you're defending, over defending that knight, I think I'll keep my bishop. Let's push here. Open things up in the center. But they have a pawn on f6. They're not a Ben Feingold viewer, but f6 is actually quite annoying here. Another good move. I take their knight, they take our knight, eh. 
I'll do it. I was hoping to get more. I'm gonna take with a pawn. So that I can use the D file and maybe get something going against the queen. First, let's go knight h4, double attacking f5. Now rook d1. I'm hoping to get something going here, as I said. Aha! The bishop moved this way, which means this is loose. Thank you very much. I got it. This is why I like to play king h1, because I could still mess up. I could lose my queen if I'm not careful. So king h1 is probably my next move. Probably. Gotta be careful here. Yeah. Get that king out of dodge. Check. And now my favorite move. I think you're all very familiar with it. It's rook f3. Oh, they stopped it. Darn it. I was going for checkmate. I was going for checkmate. And that dream was taken away from me. Now this is awkward. Is my queen trapped? Almost. All the way down to a3. Help. I need some help. My queen, uh, I tried to go for a checkmate and uh, my pieces got tangled up. Let's lift that rook. Aha! I was worried about my queen, but my opponent has generously gifted a knight. Which really helps her cause. I'm gonna go hang my queen. Oops, I hung my queen. Just kidding. Knight g6 check. King has to move. Check. And we're up a rook. We're up a rook. What I want to play is f5 so I can go for this. And this. Check. And now bring this bishop in and take that and take this checkmate. F6, people are learning. F6 has its own issues, so I'll try to improve on it. They're going for a quick queenside castle, hey? Let me go knight c3 attack this pawn. I have the bishop pair. I'm going to castle queenside now. Open up for my bishops. Usually, if you have two bishops and you're heading development, you don't mind if the position opens up, so... I'm gonna trust myself here. If I take with the pawn, then they can trade queens. We want to attack, so I'll take back with the queen. I want to put my queen and bishop on this diagonal now, now that they played b6. I have some ideas. Some cheeky ideas. First one is probably taking this. Oh no. Well, well, well. 
Well, well, well. My original plan was to win the queen. But I might just have a change of heart and take here. I'll win the queen. B6 was... Uh... B6 was tough. That weakens a lot of the light squares. Check. And I'm gonna put, put my queen right back on that diagonal. Just to keep that bishop, uh, keep that knight pinned. And we're up, the, we're up materials, so trades are good. I'll keep trading. I just put queen f3 to defend the spawn. Oh, wow. That was a respectful resignation. Two pieces for a queen. You can still play on 1500. Good luck. You're gonna give me the space, I'm gonna take the space. Yeah. Oh, we have a hippo. We have a hippo, Chad. What are we gonna do? We're gonna play our four pawns out and try to crush the hippo. Squeeze him to death. With all of our pawns. Nope. True. Go away with that knight. I'm just taking away as many squares as possible here. Really? Okay, I'll go d5. I could take this knight, but I'm not even going to entertain it. d5 is a very high team move. I respect it. But I'm just going to ignore it and attack the king side. Sorry, the queen side of blacks. Push. I'm gonna ignore this hanging bishop because I uh, I have some attacking chances over here. Now do I take the piece? Now we can take it. And I'd like to think our attack is... Uh, oh! You wanna go here, hey? I'll keep taking. This bishop is stuck behind its own pawns. So let's bring the knight in. And I'm preparing to play rook check. But I like black's energy. I can tell they're a pretty decent hippo player. Can't say the same about, about everybody. Check. Check. Check again. Pick up the queen. And I'm going to go e5. So I can land a bishop on f5. Like that. If you go king d8. Oh. A resignation. There we go. Alright. Time for the bird. You know, there's a recent, uh, I just came back from Norway. I'm doing the bird speed run. Some of you guys are watching, some aren't. But I was, uh, we're just having like supper uh, with the boys. And uh, Magnus was with us. And he's playing Title Tuesday. He's like, what should I play? And I said, uh, the bird. And then he got paired with Eric Rosen. Then he played the bird. And he crushed with the bird. So if you see that uh, on YouTube or online, that was just him chilling, playing on his phone and uh, trying something new out. All right, let's go queen here. This is uh, 
H3 is a bit of a weakening move, but I'm hoping I can kick out the knight. D3. If I can maintain the two bishops, I'm probably going to queenside castle. And be pretty happy. However, is this a loose pawn? Queen takes d5. The queen no longer defends. Queen takes d5. Knight b4, forking the queen in c2. Then I have to go queen c5. Am I surviving that? There's only one way to find out. Let's... <laughs> we'll take first. If I lose, I lose. It's okay. Oh, didn't challenge me. Here we go. Yasser would be proud. I'll go h3 just to make sure. And now let's just queenside castle. Enjoy the extra pawn. And push. I'll even go d4 as well. Push all the pawns up. I have the two bishops. Opening up is usually going to be favorable. Uh-huh. Push. I don't know why I pushed, but... Oh. Open things up. Push. We're here to lift the kimono, yes. Yeah, Mon left me with some good music here. This is nice, yeah. And now let me take here. Thank you for the pawn. That would be a nice fork. Let's go g5, anchor that bishop in. Now let's open up the H file. I'm enjoying this. I'm warmed up. I actually played chess in Norway. I wasn't there on holiday. I just had a couple days off to party. I extended my trip. But uh, I played uh, played chess there. My perf my real job. My real job is not babysitting people online. It's playing good chess moves. And I've been doing a bad job at that. Doing a poor job. Alright, this is a nice fork. Alright. We're going to grab this. Open up the H file. I mean, the key thing here is... I don't even need this rook. I'm up enough material. This knight probably helps checkmate black. And that's worth more than winning material. Alright, so rook takes pawn. Queen takes pawn. Knight takes. Queen. King takes. E5 check. So at the minimum, I'm getting a, enough material. That's okay. But, uh, but I like this knight a lot. So I'm first going to go... Rook h6. I'm not interested in in that quite yet. Huh? Check. That's okay. Check. Check. We're up a queen for a rook. Just looking for a checkmate right now. All right, black played rook h6, white to move. I can move my queen out of the way because it's being attacked, but uh, checkmate is the strongest. Yay. All righty. Bishop g4 early. I don't like when black takes and doubles the pawns, so I'm gonna go e3 so that my queen my queen can recapture and keep the integrity of the pawns. No doubled ones. Let's go bishop b5.
Bianchetto, this bishop. I could go stone. I could go d4 and play a stone wall structure, but maybe next time. Castle. All right, I like this bishop a lot. I'm gonna go queen h3, and the idea is I. I was thinking about trying to get a checkmate in. I'm going to have to prepare that. Let's go d3. I want to rook lift and use my good bishop on b2 and attack um, the king side. First, let's get rid of this knight, double the pawns. And I, yeah, I was thinking about something here. If I don't have an attack, my next idea is probably just developing my final piece, which is the knight on b1. I got, I'm gonna develop here and then where afterwards is a good question. But first, we'll go here. This is a good move. Trying to stop my good diagonal. I like it. I like it. We can trade everything. I don't want to trade my bishop for their bishop. Hmm. Yeah. Any ideas? I'm gonna go queen f5. If pawn takes, then I have bishop takes f6. Maybe, maybe my opponent might miss that. It looks aggressive. The bird can be aggressive, and uh, I'm trying to use the g-file to my advantage. Queen h6 was the another idea. I thought black would play g6, and I wasn't sure what to make of it. But this is what I wanted to see. Because now I have bishop takes knight, pawn is pinned, and yes, you can win the rook, but you're losing your queen. And I think losing the queen is uh, more important. And now you need to know your pattern uh, puzzle rush, your pattern recognition. This is this is just um, a position where white has to checkmate black. If you can't checkmate your opponent's lone king with no defense around, something's uh, something's wrong with your finishing ability. So queen here where it works. The wins. There's no way to stop rook g8. I like it, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rook g8 check just to win everything with checks. So sacrifice the rook to make room to play queen g5, check, and after king f8, queen g7. Good game. Uh, yeah. Fiendish, good luck. So the early knight c6, I'm gonna go e3 and probably go bishop b5. My my knight's defended by uh, the queen, so wait a second. I'm a greedy guy. G4, bishop g6, f5 traps. It traps the bishop, does it not? At what price? At what cost? We'll find out later. I'm greedy. I'm going to lose castling privileges, but if I win the bishop, it might be worth it. Check, let's move the king. I can move king e2. King f1 makes more sense. Then I can kind of bring my queen in to help. Exactly, queen g3, who cares? All right, I got my compensation. I got the, the piece. Good. Let's play queen e2. Maybe queen g2 to offer a queen trade. Okay, here, hey. What if I go d3? I don't like your knight hanging around my king. Let's kick it out. I play like a GM. Thank you. Thank you. 
And now, to be boring, we're gonna offer a queen trade. Since I want a queen trade. We did karaoke actually for uh, kind of the night before the birthday. We did karaoke, drunk karaoke. And I haven't done that since I was like eight years old. Not drunk karaoke, just karaoke in general. Um, and one of the songs was Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. I just know that I am. It was, it was a good time. Uh, let's attack. See, I've really forced the queen back. I have the alpha queen. If the queens were scissoring, my queen would be on top. Don't look up. Yeah, there's probably kids here. Eh, scissoring is okay. Uh, anyways. Let's see here. Do we take with the knight or the bishop? I'll just take with the bishop and win an uh, win exchange. Let's grab that. So yes, I didn't castle, but I think I've won quite a bit of material in exchange for, for giving up the castling. But it's it's time to make make a nest for my king. And to start a family. Let's get the rook involved. I'm gonna grab this pawn because it's there. Move the queen out of the way. Tactics time. Check. That's pinned. Check. Please go here. Please do it for me. I have a move I want to introduce. There we go. Check. King can't go here. This is gonna force everything off. And that's exactly what I want. Now we're up enough material to hopefully win the game. Now I can bring my king out. Attack, attack. Bring the rooks in, use that speed. Since we're up so much material, give back some. And then we push. Thank you for the bishop. Push, push. All right, white to play and move and win. Queen h8, the king has no escape square. Yay. Jarvan. Let's give the bird treatment. And instead I'll show that the bird, you can just get the stone wall if you want. It is true. Do I play e4 or e3? Oh, I really want to play e4. That's the best move. I'll play e3 another time. I can't resist. I like space. I do. Push. Push. We gotta watch out for this fork. So let's go bring the knight in. Just start developing all the pieces. I'm gonna play c3 just to reinforce everything. And now e6. This is a fun move. Because black was expected to take and they can take and they win a pawn, but they win the ugliest pawn. And it also messes up their pawn structure. So, oh, that's okay. Check. Let's 
let's grab that. Check. Let's grab this. Check. This isn't enough. I see a check. The king goes here and I don't have more. So we're going to throw in a cheeky move. Queen c2. Then when I go check, the king goes here. Are you ready? This is for you, Latin and Blonde. Check. King goes here. I set up a double check on purpose. No! No, no, don't cut the video. This is what I was planning. King here, we're not taking the queen. Double check. King goes back. Queen h7. Sacrifice the queen. And this is what happened. Checkmate. Smothered mate. We set it up. It was all queen c2, all the hard work. Check, check. Oh. 16 more points. A four. I like developing my. Oh, hey, hey now. <laughs> I did not give you permission to win that pawn. So I'm not pre moving the openings always because you gotta watch out. Let's go 95. This might be a bit like the stone wall. Let's do it. Stone wall structure, D4. I'm setting a trap, but it doesn't necessarily work. It depends if white if black feels like they can take that pawn and survive. What do you think? It was a mistake. They shouldn't have grabbed the material. All right. I want you to look hard here and think about how can we make that queen uncomfortable? How can, what's the precise way to punish this greedy, greedy queen? Which rook is it going to be? Are we moving this rook or this rook? Which rook and then what's the next move? So let's say rook here. Where can the queen go? Here? No. Here? No. Here? Yes. Here? No. Can it go there? No. A rook. If we move the A rook, we have to watch out for the queen taking on A2. I'm not moving until we see all the way to the end. So let's say the rook goes here. The queen only has one safe move. Queen f5. What's the next move? G4, there we go, okay. I agree. And the queen has no squares, they have to sacrifice material, justifying our investment. It's is it worth it to open up my king to win a piece? Yes, especially because I'm going to trade the queens off, so I'm not worried about uh, checkmate. I won a knight for the cost of two pawns. I would say I got the better deal. We got the C file. Let's just bring our pieces in. Rook here, maybe. Improve this rook. Bring the king in. Okay. There's a tempting move here. I I could move the bishop. But it just realized, what if I go rook g1? Yes, I lose a bishop, but you can't tell me. You can't tell me black's going to survive if I get both rooks on the seventh. They can go bishop f8, but now this is pinned. So I'm going to eat. Uh oh we might be in windmill territory. 
I'm gonna try to produce a windmill. It'll, it won't be the perfect windmill, but uh, it was worth an attempt. Okay, they're surviving. So let me just make a gentle old Rook B7 move with a hidden, hidden threat. Uh huh. Oh, I blundered a pawn. Oh no. Okay, that's good. Yes. Check. Check. All right, wait to play here and set up a mating net. A mating net that cannot be prevented, cannot be stopped. Good job. Bishop f6, rookie 7. I'm going to pre-move I'm pre-moving rookie 7. The king can't move. Puja fan. I'm gonna play Stonewall this game from the bird. Gonna go for the Stonewall. Bishop d3 and then c3, right? Castle. And then c3. It's all set up. Womb stall. I'm preparing to play knight e5. I'm just making a couple prophylactic moves. a4 prevents this. Let's go knight e5 now. And if knight takes, we're going to do f pawn takes, opening up the f file and extending our bishop. This bishop has more options now. So knight f3. Queen, good. Bishop g5. Um, sure, I'll trade. I need to come up with an attack on the king's side. This is where I'm a bit stronger right now. Let's go queen e2. I'm thinking about this. It almost works. I don't see it completely working. I'm gonna go g4 first. And then bishop f6. I wanted to take away knight f5. Okay. Let's bring the queen in. The attack is coming. All right, g5. Are we gonna be materialistic and be really concerned about materials so we're not gonna sacrifice? Or we can calculate and be like, you know what? None of Black's pieces are in a position to support their king. So if we can break through here, it doesn't matter if we had to sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice. Knight takes g5. If pawn takes, queen takes. Looks like a mating net. If bishop takes, pawn takes. It also looks like a mating net. To be honest. So, that's a pretty easy sacrifice. With all these pieces offside. It's a good, good resource. Actually, that's a good move. I'm gonna Brooklift and uh, allow it to happen. We're going for a checkmate. My next move is probably rook h3. I'm doing it. 
Knight f4, I'm gonna sack my queen. Oh, he doesn't mind. That doesn't look right. And if I take. I was getting ready to sack my queen, but I don't need to. No complaints. Check. 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 Check me. I went for a slower mate. Well, you're one step closer to mastering the bird's opening. To move on to the next episode, just click over here. And to stay up to date with all of our content, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the bell button, then you're gonna get notified. See you next time.